Jack's up to guy, and I don't really have any plans for this vlog. It was it was a case of me just sitting down thinking, you know what? I feel like making a vlog. I feel like just talking to you guys because I I I don't think I've done it in a while properly. I can't remember the last time I actually just sat down for a vlog. I mean, I talked about the plushies and going to um, insomnia next month and that kind of stuff, but the, I, I didn't really just sit down and talk properly to you guys. So how's everybody doing? How are- how is everyone? I've been getting a lot of nice messages from people lately, and maybe it's because of the certain games that I'm doing, because I played that game Anxiety Attacks, and a lot of people had some really nice messages to send me tr throughout all, like, social media and everywhere, and I did read a lot of them. And everyone was really able to relate to it and everyone was very thankful for the stuff I said at the end of the video You don't need to thank me for saying that stuff by the way It's really nice that you do and I'm glad that everyone I don't know took it on board and everyone kind of went with it and People it's got people talking about that kind of stuff and just reassured them that everything is all right If you're going through that kind of stuff, so I was, I was really happy about that and I really liked that people were like opening up their hearts to me and telling me their stories and I, I really like listening to that because it gives me a feeling for who the people who watch my videos are, and it really helps me connect to you a lot more. Because I, I, whenever I make videos, I always tell you, all of you that I want to connect with you. Um, and I'm trying really hard as well when I do my vlogs to not say certain things that I always do, like that kind of stuff, and, and these kind of things. And, um, I'm trying really hard to get my, like, public speaking a bit better, or just speaking on camera a bit better, and I get really flustered every now and then. But, yeah, th that was really nice to see, and I, I really... It, I don't know, it hit home with me as well, because some people out there were feeling very lonely, and I, I've, I've been in times when I've been lonely, and, like, YouTubers have helped me through it, or just watching stuff online have helped me cope with different things, and I was very, I wouldn't say I was socially anxious, I mean, I guess I was a while ago, but not to the degree some people are, um, I, I don't want to try and make light of it or anything, but I, I did have the case where I didn't want to talk to people, or like making phone calls is a big deal to me, and I didn't want to do that kind of thing, going up to people's doors and knocking on them for the fear of being rejected or nobody being at home, that kind of stuff, so it made, it really made me happy to see that other people were opening up and trying to get over that kind of stuff themselves. And I could really relate to a lot of the stuff people were saying. And as well, when I played Emily is Away, I played that a couple of days ago. And that really hit home for a lot of people too. Be especially me. Because I've been in scenarios like that. Not exactly like that, it didn't go as far as some of the stuff in that game. But it it really hit home, like, instant messaging people. And it also came back to the, like, socially awkward kind of stuff too. So, a lot of people who watched that were saying, Jack, I'm going through that right now. Because a lot of the people who watch this channel would be younger. There are people of all ages who watch the channel, and that's fantastic. I'm really glad to see the huge variety of people on the channel. But a lot of the people who watch are very young, because that's just the people who watch YouTube anyway. And they were going through that kind of stuff themselves right now. And just playing something like that and reassuring them, and just opening up and giving people a venue to see that they're not the only person going through that stuff. Which is a big, important thing to realize that you're, no matter what you're going through in your life, you're likely not the only person going through that right now. And that's something that a lot of people forget, because they're like, Oh god, I'm, I don't want to talk to people, I feel so alone, I'm depressed, I, I don't want to go on anymore. Whatever you're going through, there's, there's normally somebody else who's either gone through it themselves and come out the other end who can talk to you about it and relate a lot to you. Or there's people who are going through it right now, and it's good to open up and talk to other people. And this got a lot different than what I intended the vlog to be. I had no plans of what to talk about in this vlog. I was just turning on the camera and speak my mind and see what happens. But those kind of games were getting a lot of people to send me a lot of different messages. And it was like when I went back and played The Beginner's Guide a while ago, that that really prompted a lot of creative people to come to me and talk to me about different things that they were going through and how they interpreted it differently, but they really liked the message I had to say. And I, I don't know, just these kind of things are what make YouTube really worthwhile to me. I could play Happy Wheels all day and get a ton of views and all these people and make all these dick jokes and all the yell at the camera all the time. And Happy Wheels is a great thing on its own. I really do enjoy playing it. But I want the channel to be a whole lot more than that. I want it to be a lot more relatable. I want people to realize that I'm a person behind the camera, that that you can open up to me, that you can talk to me. As I always say, I want it to feel like I'm a friend playing a game. Those kind of things make me happy, like the beginner's guide, Emily is away, Life is Strange when that came out. That really surprised me how much people really enjoy that as well, especially in the huge long format that it is. And I'm trying to do more of those because 
I, I realize that that's the kind of thing that helps people relate a lot more. I, I like doing the one-off games like Yojo Simulator, um, Goat Simulator, well that's kind of uh, an ongoing thing, but each episode is very like fast cut, it's very fast paced, it's the same with I Am Bread. I really like doing, th doing those types of games on Happy Wheels because they really highlight, uh, uh, they really highlight my personality a lot, that I'm very loud, I'm very... I'm very um, staccato in the way I do things, like everything's very chop 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 and I talk very fast and those kind of things and I really like doing them but I also like opening up a lot more with the longer formats where they're completely unedited for 45 minutes to an hour to two hours to th almost three hours one of the Life is Strange videos got I think it was hugely long and I really like doing those because I think it creates a better atmosphere, you get a better vibe for who I am as a person and you really get to just sit down and settle into something and you get to you get to process it a lot more I feel like people who over edit their videos they, they might like that they might they don't want to connect as much they want to just have it all be about the entertainment value and they don't want to get into the spotlight themselves but I really want to build this community I want to build something that's strong that everyone feels like they know each other everyone has a face an identity a personality everyone's an individual on the channel and doing those longer format things, you get to know me more as a person and then you get to relate a lot more to it. I get to open up a lot more to you. There's a there's a much stronger connection with those kind of things and I'm really happy with the way the channel is. I'm really happy with the way things have progressed and things have gone. Um, I've kind of ticked myself over in some ways because I, I really like the style of the upload schedule where it's like every four to five days to a week to whatever I feel like like no game comes day after day after day because that gets boring after a while if I did skate three day after day after day or Subnautica when they were coming out people would have got bored of them a lot quicker and I wouldn't have been able to do as many episodes like could you imagine if I was doing Undertale day after day some of you would love it but everybody else would kind of like go oh this is dragging out now when is it gonna end so I really like that the the variety and the sparsity of things and everything feels like it feels like it's in its own place. It feels like it's going really well. But when it comes to trips then I'm like crap. I could record a bunch of these videos, but that's not gonna tide me over because they only go up like every four days. So when it comes to trips, it's kinda harder to process all that. I need a lot of games sometimes when I'm planning trips and I've some coming up towards the end of the year. I don't know, it's it's harder to plan when you can't do the same games day after day. But I like that, I like that, I'd never, I wouldn't want to change that for the way it is and What are we talking about? I have no idea This is the kind of thing that I like to do, I like to just sit down and spew my thoughts Because I think it makes me seem more human It, it makes me feel like a lot more relatable that you realize that I am just a gibbering idiot And nothing is pre-planned, nothing is super structured or scripted out or anything like that I'm just a person behind a camera, in my room, shouting at video games and talking my mind whole to people, but I, I don't know, I always want to just reaffirm how grateful I am to all of you I know it seems like a cliche by now and everyone's kind of getting, some people are getting sick of me just saying it all the time, but I don't care I really want to show how grateful I am because it wasn't long ago, like people are showing me gift sets of me with all these other YouTubers, like being in Jack's films well, I'm very grateful to him by the way for coming to me, I am so flattered being his like, your grammar sucks 100 was such a big deal to me because while my cameo was tiny I was so happy to be even asked because the amount of really talented awesome people who were in that video and people are showing me gifts of like all their favorites all in a row and I'm in the middle of them and it just blows my mind to think that a couple of years ago I was watching these people thinking how cool they were and now people consider me at the same level or alongside them as a peer rather than a fan of them which I still really am and I'm such a fanboy of all these people <laughs> but I, I don't know, I'm so grateful for it, the, with the way things have gone, that I'm going to conventions, that I, I cannot wait for Insomnia coming up um, again. Insomnia, Birmingham, 11th to the 14th of December. Hopefully I can see a lot of you there, because I really want to meet people. I have a panel that's going to be, I think it's going to be an hour long on the Saturday, I'm not sure, Saturday or Sunday. And then there's going to be a signing on the Saturday or Sunday as well. They're not going to be one after another, I don't think. So, different days, I don't know, it's not finalized yet, so you're gonna have to look out for that, but I cannot wait to do these things, I cannot wait to meet people, and just talk to you all, I love you guys so much, you're, everything, I, I don't know, everything I do these days is all for the channel, and I could not be happier, and I'm so grateful 
that all of you are on the channel here with me sharing this journey and I really hope it feels like a shared journey and it doesn't feel like you're just watching some celebrity YouTuber guy just behind a camera. I really want to... I re I, I've always wanted to try and keep that down to earth feeling and I really hope that I still have that I, and I, I trust you guys and I respect you guys enough to be able to tell you the truth about when you guys are doing things that I'm not I'm not too keen on so hopefully you guys can share with me when you feel like I'm doing stuff that you don't really like or you feel like I'm drifting away or becoming too egotistical or pretentious or anything like that and I feel like it's gone a really good way so far so thank you guys so much for that and for being here and being my friends <laughs> but for now also thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it punch the like button in the face like a boss and high fives all around <laughs> Thank you guys, and I will see all your news Anyway, you have the ability to forget a moment here of your choice. Probably what I was just talking about. But forget a random close friend. I'm gonna go no with this one, because I messed up the friend one last time and I'm not being made a fool of. Well that vlog turned into something that I didn't expect. I yammered on for ages, but that's what I do. I ramble. <laughs> Ding!